2020-2021 NBA season marked the 40th anniversary of Dallas basketball, bringing with it the Hardwood Classic green uniforms that are only available to the team every five years. Translating the retro look to the Nike template wasn't a 100% match, however. The shoulder ribbing on the jersey did not go all the way around the armhole, and the shorts, despite special attention on keeping the notch intact, just aren't the same. Fans adored these during the season as the Mavs wore them 17 games out of the 72-game season, going 9-8 and eight in them. Allison Panasic, the team's VP of Merchandise and Brand Identity, was in charge of the revival as well as this year's batch of alternate uniforms. After an initial round of samples of the Classic were approved, she noticed that something was off. She found the number set had been incorrect for years. Unfortunately, that's where the corrections end. The layer of green outlining the numbers in Dallas is still missing, with the word mark still featuring the inaccurate fat letters. Maybe the 45th anniversary will finally bring a recreation that truly honors the past. Beyond that, the team continued wearing their standard icon and association uniforms, as well as their statement uniform from last year, with the Jumpman logo replacing Nike's on the jersey and shorts. Initial images of the season's city jersey leaked online at the end of October 2020, leading fans to speculate about the source of inspiration, particularly the use of silver and gold, drawing comparisons to Real Madrid's white and gold jerseys. Less than a month later, the team would officially unveil the uniform and its story. In 1934, the Magnolia Oil Company placed a red neon Pegasus sign on top of their headquarters in Dallas. While Magnolia later folded into Mobile, the city of Dallas came to an agreement with the company to use the image as a symbol for the city. The original sign stood until 1999 and was replaced with a new version January 1st, 2000. The original Pegasus was stored away until 2015 when it was renovated and put out in front of the Omni Dallas Hotel. Incorporating this legacy in the legend of the Greek mythological creature, the Mavs invoked the power of the Pegasus to inspire hope using silver and gold angelic wings on the side, a nod to the 2011 championship, on a white base with gold and silver trim on the v-neck and armholes, gold and Greek lettering with gray and gold numbers on the front and back, and a gray NOB, as well as tributes to the team's history in Dallas, a 40th anniversary logo stamped on the waistband, the word mark Legacy is Everything, and the Dallas Skyline logo on the jock tag. Mavs appears in Greek lettering in gold on both sides of the short underneath the wings, and hidden in the vent flap on the right leg is another 40th logo. In an interview with The Athletic, Panasic said that she wanted to give a nod to the anniversary, but not too obvious of one. Focusing on engaging fans, she wanted to do something that wasn't so literal, such as a jersey with a giant pegasus on the front. Envisioning players taking flight, she sent a creative deck to Nike containing elements such as sneakers with wings and Game of Thrones type armor. Her goal? Wings coming down the back and the font changing to be more Romanesque. She also revealed that part of the design process involves players voting on the art and core designs that they liked the best to get them invested in the team. Fans were generally pleased with this city uniform after a few years of mixed receptions, enjoying the classy and clean look. Some, however, could not see the team or city connection, primarily pointing to the different color scheme, as well as criticizing the Pegasus wings as too subtle of a translation of the iconic sign and just plain bad looking on the shorts from certain angles. The design also bore comparisons to the Atlanta Hawks 2019 city uniform and the Indiana Pacers icon and association uniforms. The city uniform debuted New Year's Day against the Miami Heat and was worn 13 times overall with nine wins, four losses, and one game winner that only Luka could pull off. The final new look that the Mavericks wore during the season was their earned set, uniforms that they earned by making the 2019-2020 playoffs. Fans discovered a way to see this new uniform in December 2020 through the NBA's Locker Vision website that allows you to see what each team will be wearing for every matchup during the season. Earned uniform sets don't have a lot of guidelines but are very team specific, with the Mavs version featuring the core colors with a navy base 
and the shortened Mavs word mark and longtime number set in white and royal blue trim. Light blue and royal blue run along the collar, armholes, and sides of the jersey down to the shorts, where it forms a lightning bolt looking shape, and then rounds out the bottom with the simplified team logo on the right leg and Mavs star on the waistband in white and silver. While some fans complained that the uniform was bland and too similar to the Thunder's own to earn set, others enjoyed the slight throwback to the away uniforms worn 20 years ago. Dallas played four games in this uniform with their only loss to the Clippers. Images of a Phoenix Suns mashup uniform leaked online before the start of the 2021 season, causing many to speculate about what was in store for the NBA's 75th season. A low quality image of the Mavericks 2021 city jersey was posted online on May 25th, 2021. Based on this and a rendering done by Casey Vitelli, it appears that the Mavs are making me eat my words about the return of the cowboy hat. It now sits atop the letter D in Dallas that uses the 90s jersey font in blue and white and green trim. Numbers match and with other jersey elements taken from the current base sets, with the wishbone collar in green with blue lining, green blocks around the armholes and down the sides, a silver line running down both sides as well, and a diamond Nike swoosh replaces the standard one. How close this interpretation of the design will be to the final version is yet to be seen, but from the looks of it, should please generations of MFFLs. The statement jerseys will also be returning once more. And finally, based on an in-game screenshot of NBA 2K22 featuring Luka Doncic, it looks that the diamond Nike swoosh might be on all jerseys next season. We'll have to wait and see if the Jumpman logo gets the same treatment.